The book of Judges, chapter 6 and verse 11. And there came an angel of Yahuwah and sat under an oak, which was an Ophrah that pertained unto Joash, the Abizarite. And his son Gideon threshed wheat by the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of Yahuwah appeared unto him and said unto him. So who is this right here now? And the angel of Yahuwah. So, so this is that same angel. Read. Appeared unto him and said unto him, Yahuwah is with you, you mighty man of valor. And Gideon said to him, O my master, if Yahuwah be with us, why then is all this befallen us? Jump to verse 17. Verse 17. And he showed unto him, he said unto him, if now I have found grace in your sight, then show me a sign that you talk with me. So, as always, our people need a sign. We always need to see something. Read. Depart not here, I pray you, until I come unto you and bring forth my present and set it before you. And he said, I will tarry until you come again. Jump to verse 21. Verse 21. Then the angel of Yahuwah put forth the end of the staff that was in his hand. So we clear that this is the angel again, the angel of the Lord as they got it written. We usually don't say these words just for the sake of this. We say in these terms, read. And touched the flesh and the unleavened cakes. And there rose up fire out of the rock and consumed the flesh and the unleavened cakes. Then the angel of the Most High departed out of his sight. And when Gideon perceived that he was an angel of the Most High, Gideon said, Alas, O my master, the Most High. So I hear this word, alas, when you look this up, it means to be basically sick to death in your stomach because you've just seen something. He knows about if you see the Most High that you should die. So when he's saying this, alas, he's basically just act like he found out that he got cancer, AIDS, uh, leukemia, all at the same time. Wow. That's his feeling. That boy sick to death. <laughs> exactly. Read. For because I have seen an angel of Yahuwah face to face. So he knows he's seen an angel, as he just said it, of the Most High face to face. Read. And Yahuwah said to him, Shalom be unto you. Fear not, you shall not die. You shall not die. So right here, he knew that he seen this quote-unquote angel, but he thought he was going to die. Mm -hmm. so when there's nowhere it says that if you see an angel, you will die. Exactly. Something definitely special about this particular person here. Exactly. Because it doesn't say anything about anybody else. If you see an angel, you will die. But why does he feel like that? We don't get it. Judges 13. The book of Judges. What verse? Uh, we're going to uh, start at verse 13. Okay. Judges 13 and 13. And the angel of Yahuwah said unto Manoah. So right here again, this is the same quote-unquote angel or messenger. Read. Of all that I said to the woman, let her beware. She may not eat of anything that comes of the vine, neither let her drink wine or strong drink, nor eat any unclean thing. All that I commanded her, let her observe. This is, the, this is the story of before Samson was born into this world. Strongest man ever. Read. And Manoah said to the angel of Yahuwah, I pray you, let us detain you until we shall have made ready a kid for you. And the angel of the Most High said to Manoah, Though you detain me, I will not eat of your bread. And if you will offer a burnt offering, you must offer it unto Yahuwah. For Manoah knew not that the angel was of... I'm sorry. For Manoah knew not that he was an angel of Yahuwah. So right here, Manoah don't even realize that this is an angel of the Most High. The angel of the Most High, read. And Manoah said to the angel of Yahuwah, what is your name? There you go again. He asked him that same thing that Jacob wanted to know. What is your name? Read. That when your sayings come to pass, we may do you honor. So we want to honor you. Just tell him, let me know your name, bro. Read. And the angel of Yahuwah said to him, why ask you this <laughs> after my name? 
What? <laughs> Wait a minute, man. Why are you asking my name? What's? That's not important. Read. Seeing it is secret. Seeing that it is secret. Hold that. If you got one of the KJV Bibles, it's probably got the little T joint right there, and it says that word can mean wonderful, right? Let's go. Hold what we got right here. Let's go to Isaiah nine. <clears throat> I think it's nine and six. The book of Isaiah, chapter nine and verse six. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Hold on, who is this verse speaking about right here? Hamashiach. Read. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful. It shall be called Wonderful. Same thing as we was just reading over here in Judges 13. Let's go back and pick it up where we left off at. Verse 19. So Manoah took a kid with a meat offering and offered it upon a rock unto Yahuwah. And the angel did wondrously. He did what? And the angel did wondrously. Read. And Manoah and his wife looked on. For it came to pass, when the flame went up toward the Shamaim from off the altar, that the angel of Yahuwah ascended in the flame of the altar. And Manoah and his wife looked on it. And fell on their faces to the ground. So they fell on their faces to the ground. Read. But the angel of Yahuwah did no more appear to Manoah and to his wife. Then Manoah knew that he was an angel of Yahuwah. So right here, Manoah knows that this is an angel of the Most High. Read. And Manoah said to his wife, we shall surely die. Because we have seen Elohim. You seen who? We have seen Elohim. We have seen him. So right here, Manoah thinking that they're going to die. Again, if it's just an angel, why does he think he's going to die? There's nothing in the in the law written that says if you see an angel, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. But he think they're going to die. Just like the rest of them thought that they was going to die. Read. But his wife said to him, if Yahuwah were pleased to kill us, he would have not received a burnt offering and meat offering in our hands. Neither would he have showed us all these things, nor, nor would as at this time have told us such things as these. So right here we see that same thing repeating itself over and over again. He do something that's crazy to them. They see him and they say, wow. I just saw him face to face and I'm still alive. We surely going to die. Mm -hmm. Dude was so sick inside that the most I had to speak down to him like, yo, mm -hmm. you ain't going to die. It's going to be all right. Bro. Right. Mm -hmm. You didn't really see me. So you, that's why you're still alive. Right. So let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 6. The book of Isaiah, chapter 6 and verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the master sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. And his train filled the temple. Now, automatically, when people read this, plus because they don't look into the Hebrew, they automatically see this word right here, and assume that this is speaking of the Most High. But like he said, it should say Master right here. Read. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet. And with two he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is Yahuwah of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. It's full of what? Full of his glory. Now remember them joints in Exodus where it was saying, I will send my glory. My glory will go past. Now we're going to find out that this glory is something separate from the Most High. And it's right here in Scripture. We ain't got to go nowhere and try to pull it out or wrap it out of the hat. It's right in Scripture. Read. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. 
for my eyes have seen the king, Yahuwah of hosts. So right here, Isaiah saying, my eyes have seen the king, Yahuwah of hosts. Isaiah thinking, wow, I'm, I'm looking at him. He's really looking at the glory of a breed. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched your lips, and your iniquity is taken away, and your sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the master saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And who will do what? And who will go for us? Go for me. Who will go for us? Wait a minute. Who is this us? And who will go for us? He didn't say for me. He said, and who will go for us? Because these people teach it that the Most High is by himself all the time. But Psalms 110 says somebody sits up there with him. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 57, 15 also says that I sit with him. Well, well, that's another thing, but we, you got to have no understanding, though. That's what I'm basically trying to say right here. Read that verse again. Right? Also, I heard the voice of the master say, whom shall I send? Whom shall I send? And what? And who will go for us? And who will go for us? Now, again, I want y'all to focus on the word glory. That's what we just read in this verse right here. That the whole earth was filled with his glory. Now, let's go to Ezekiel 1 and 26, I think. Yep, Ezekiel 1 and 26. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 1 and verse 26. And above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne. The likeness of a throne. Read. As the appearance of sapphire stone. And upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness of the appearance of a man above it. Read. And I saw as the color of amber, as the appearance of fire round about within it, from the appearance of his loins even upward, and from the appearance of his loins even downward, I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had brightness round about. As the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of his brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of Yahuwah. The what? This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of Yahuwah. So again, the appearance of the likeness of of the glory of his appearance, or of the Most High. Read. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spake. So right here, same thing. He sees the appearance, but then he lets you know it's of the glory of what he just seen. <laughs> now, let's go to... Let's go to Exodus 16. And show you that the glory separated. Exodus 16 and verse 7. And, and we're going to read it kind of slow so y'all can really <clears throat> grasp it. The read book it. of Exodus chapter 16 and verse 7. And in the morning, then you shall see the glory of Yahuwah. So then in the morning, you're going to see the glory of of the Most High. Read. For that he hears your murmurings against Yahuwah. Wait a minute. So the glory hears your murmurings against the Most High. This things are separated, right? Crystal yeah. clear. Crystal clear. That they are separated. Read. And what are we that you murmur against us? So the glory is is, is hearing the people murmuring against the Most High. So it shows you that the glory is something separated from the Most High. But we're going to find out a little bit later what or who this glory really is. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Exodus 14 and 19. Matter of fact, let's get... Let's go to Corinthians 10. All right. 
Now, most people agree that the Messiah 